What's this? A doorway to fantasy and adventure dropped into your podcast feed? Well, thanks to our donors during the Matreon drive this year, welcome to the very first episode of Two Keys in a Car. Welcome to the first ever episode of Two D's in a Pod. Ooh, you didn't go with mine or D and D minus. Two Thank D's. you. Okay, it's going to be both. Dash. We're going to say it's both. Or that's it's both now. <laughs> two D's in a Pod it's is both. the best pun ever. Two created. D's in a Pod is fine. Two D's in a Pod is fine. They were like tied. Everything. <laughs> two D's one it. podcast. Anna will roll on her end. Heath. You roll, and I'll tell you what you got. <laughs> no, it's okay. All right. Uh, so I think we'll start out. Uh, everybody, uh, tell us a little about your characters. Who are you bringing into this world of fantasy, mystery, and adventure? You're directing that to everybody at once. Great job with this host. Everybody. The- <laughs> it's just as easy as I make it look, isn't it, Eli? <laughs> All right. We'll go in age... Age order. Noah, you go first. That's reverse age order, but fine. Okay. (laughs) So apparently I'm a gnome. Came up with this funny joke today all by myself that no one helped with helped me with. I'm a gnome illusionist. Okay. (laughs) I'm not gonna phenomenal. Give credits. That's all my all mine. Came up with that by myself. I I get half a credit for a title that I don't even I had an amazing title and it's half the title now, and then I named no it's fun. No illusions. He's actually an illusionist. No, no yeah, on. no. It's, but that's not his name. No, his name is Snedrick Ferndangle. I did a deep dive awesome. into nomenclature to find the right name. That's right, nomenclature. Oh, so good. Um, he was he was born in the forests deep to the in the south, and he went to a a very prestigious school of magic at least by gnome standards it's liberty university you yeah well you guys are gonna make fun of it because you're not fucking gnomes <laughs> <laughs> is the way it always happens but anyway so he went to this very prestigious school and he was most of the way through uh, but then he got got in a little trouble he got a lady gnome pregnant uh he did a, a forbidden abortion spell it was a religious school they frowned on that kind of thing uh, so they kicked him out. He uh, he got hooked on the snogs bane pretty heavy. Uh, started Fuck yeah. <laughs> playing in a band. Got pretty good on a reed flute and shit, but then he pawned all his shit for snogs bane. Anyway, long story there. <laughs> he ends up in a little town working as a wizard for hire, and he's not super happy that that's where he wound up in life. <sighs> okay, I have one question. What is the name of the lady gnome you got pregnant and gave an abortion to? I, I don't think that's really the kind of thing that I need to throw out for her. You know, like it, it's going to be her decision if she wanted to tell you her end of that story. Jane I like Rowe. We call her, I mean, <laughs> you know, it just as a joke, we call her Expelliarmus now, but it's that's not really her name. <laughs> All right, going down in age order, the thirty-nine-year-old. <laughs> Who are you playing? You might as well just get ready this... for it. You might as well get used to it. It's going to happen. Thirty-eight, it's fantastic. And I, it, zero doesn't count as once. So it's really thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you you start measuring from the anus. Thank you. <laughs> Thank That's you. how it works. So uh, I will be. We are out of character. We're O O C right now. Yeah. OOC right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Dave is going to be my character, Dave the Dragon. And um, Dave, he was a simple farmhand. He's working as a serf for the noble Darkmoor family. Uh, they're a clan of wealthy dragonborns. They had a pact with an evil demon that gave them all powerful magic, uh, especially the firstborn male of each generation. And on the 18th birthday of that firstborn son from each generation, The demon appears before him and renews the pact, granting that son his dark powers. But when that day came around for 
Draco Darkmoor, the second, uh, the demon, they, uh, they do a big ceremony in their like feudal town area and everybody's there. But on that day, the demon actually appeared for me, for Dave, instead of Draco the second, because it turns out Dave was secretly the bastard child of Draco Darkmoor the first with one of his female slaves. And uh, Dave was born Ooh. a few minutes before Draco the second was born to the Duchess of Darkmoor. And Dave's dragonborn appearance, they immediately cast a spell on him to mask it and make him look like a human farmer. So big ceremonies happening and demon showed up in the audience next to Dave and uh, lifted that masking spell and showed him to be a dragonborn and bestowed upon him all the dark magical powers that Draco II was supposed to get. But Dave had no idea what the fuck was happening, so he, he just ran away. Um, but he sort of got the magic, but he didn't learn any of the magic. So, yeah, he just um, he just ran away to a town. And the town that he ran to, it's full of strangely adventurous creatures of all different races, including <laughs> gnomes. And um, that's where Dave is now, just kind of sort of subtly learning magic by accident that he has. Of course, you're a fucking dragonborn. I'm also a pretty heavy drinker. <laughs> uh, that wasn't a character related thing. <laughs> I love that that's made it into both of ours. Our, yeah. our original. Smuggle there we go. Uh, Morgan, you are 11 or 50, so you can that, go next. But that would fall within the thing that you had. Doesn't matter. Uh, I, is, my, is, my, is my name what you gave me? Okay. Yes. <laughs> then I am Claw. And Claw what's, was it? What's that? Spell that? C L A. I think it was based okay. on my last name. Do you? I think it's something that auto corrected from what? It's fine. Eli typed that to you. <laughs> uh, Claw Cla, was a Cla, Cla. high prince Aracocra. Don't know what that is. What? Sent Aracocra. Aracocra. They're yeah. birds. They're bird, bird people. Yeah. Sure. Burb. Sent down to the lowlands as an emissary. Unfortunately, the first group he encountered captured him, clipped his wings, and forced him to fight in their brutal gladiatorial debuts. Now he seeks a way home to reclaim his throne with his honor restored. That's all that Eli wrote for me. Right. So. <laughs> I, can tell, I, I, I can tell that Eli wrote it for you because you said gladiatorial debuts, and and you just get you, and you sold it. You sold it like that was a yeah, sense. You crushed of, it. You choice. Yeah, like that was a word in English. I mean, it is a word, it. but not. It's not We're that on word, the same page. But it is. That wasn't a word. Okay. <laughs> and finally, Anna. Who are you bringing to this land of adventure and mystery? Um, I'm bringing the mighty and powerful dwarven bred Bridget Boulderstash. <laughs> um, she she uh, got a job on a boat as like uh, the cook, even though she's not very good at cooking, because she actually is incredibly good at brewing beers and liquors and oh, wines we're gonna get along and stuff. Really well. So. Yeah, it's funny that like two out of three, man, two out of <laughs> three of you are into, into alcohol. So uh, she uh, she got a job on a boat. Oh, sorry. And, sorry to interrupt. Uh, as, Snog's Bane is alcohol. I thought that was like. No, heroin. no, it's it's no, it's a it's a weed that the gnomes smoke. It doesn't really do much to dwarves yeah. or dragonborn, but it's. <laughs> OK, you're just Woo! trying not to share. That's fine. It's like, no, you don't yeah. need any. It's fine. I don't, yeah. You don't or bird people. Or anything. <laughs> Whatever the hell you are. It doesn't do anything for you guys either. <laughs> yeah, with uh, my dwarven resilience, I'm sure Snogsbane wouldn't actually do much. And I do need a, quite a bit of alcohol in order for it to take effect. That's why I, I'm never often without it. So, anyway, so I get a job on this sailing ship and uh, we start having a bunch of like problems with storms and we find out that like two gods of the ocean have been fighting the god of tempest uh valkor has been fighting with umberly the god of the sea and they're just going back and forth and i was like well fuck someone's got to learn how to talk to this god and see if they can like finally get us safe passage so i decided to become a cleric and started that job by passing passive aggressive notes from one god to another <laughs> right 
the, the passive aggressive dwarven cleric. You are gathered at the famous Green Dragon Tavern. A tavern that specifically caters to adventurers, famous for its cheap drinks, active nightlife, and the seemingly bottomless pit in its center, which leads into the mysterious dungeons under the city. Though you all come from different places and backgrounds, you're all here for the same reason. Last week, each of you received a very special, very magical gift, a paper bird. Paper birds are a relatively rare magical item in this world. Though it looks like a message folded into an ordinary paper crane, the owner can whisper the full name of anyone into the realm into it, and the bird refolds itself and flies tirelessly through wind and rain until it finds its target. Which is why each of you received the exact same message at the exact same time. To whom it may concern, though we've never met, I was quite well acquainted with your grandfather, Bridget, your sis grandmother. Sexist, okay. From my adventuring days, <laughs> along with their three companions, they bequeath something to me that I know they'd want you to have. Meet me at the Green Dragon a week from tonight. Yours, Blade the- Vigil. Nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, brief explanation, Blade Vigil isn't just any adventurer. He is the adventurer. For people of your station, a letter from Blade Vigil is like getting a letter from James Bond, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and Captain Jack Sparrow all rolled into one. And yet, as you sit there nervously picking at whatever you ordered, in he comes. So before you talk to Blade, what did you guys order here at the Green Dragon? I had several scotches already. (laughs) I tried the Impossible Burger. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> soup, I guess. Soup, bird, bird drinking bird soup, soup is a Do great we know image. Each other or no? <laughs> I no. You're just all sitting cool. at the same soup. table. Wait, wait, wait. Why, t- why are we we're sitting at, a, at why the same? Why, why, why are we at a community table? That's bullshit. <laughs> the hostess made you. You guys were I'm all supposed to be dragon. Played, I feel like she was I like been more, you know, forceful about that. She explains to you as First she sits you First of all, you're down. not. You're not a dragon. Uh, I'm pretty you're sure you're a dragon born. Character, character voices. Okay, sorry. Um, I ordered, excuse me, I haven't told you what I ordered yet. I've ordered a turkey leg. So that accent, that (laughs) accent stays. That's that's part of it. What accent are you talking about? That's weird how you You reference that accent. Just now I agree. (laughs) Uh, So Blade Vigil approaches the table from the door and looks at all of you. The Blade Vigil, a little older than you pictured him, maybe a little heavier. But it's definitely him, complete with the super cool scar that you've heard about from the puppet shows and fantasy entertainments that are not anachronistic. Puppet scar. Uh, But legend says was from a dragon. And he says, my goodness, you look nothing like your grandparents. I got to tell you, I kind of expected some some familiarity, but you you look nothing like them. I have gathered you here today because I knew your grandparents. Three of the finest adventurers I worked with. Many moons ago, we did the Lord Regent of this city a favor by saving it. In return, he gave us, well, a building. I have no need for it. Never have felt like settling down. So I figured, and just as he's talking, he is interrupted by an ear-splitting roar as the largest troll you have ever seen lifts itself out of the bottomless pit in the center of the bar. What? <laughs> Where did this fucking bottomless pit come from? It's in the center of it the bar. It leads to the dungeons right in the middle okay. of the town. Pay attention. Hello. Thank you. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's you, in the sir. center. Hi. Like the bartender I'm, has oh, to get around see, it. I'm not using my voice. Seems difficult. Yeah. Yeah. They like put their roll ups in there. It's a whole thing. Uh, but this <laughs> troll lifts itself out of the bar and looks hungrier around. And Blade says, ah. This happens here. I told Drem to plug that hole long ago. Mm. You four want to help me out with this? Not, not particularly. No. Kind of busy scotch. Yeah, they, sure. So All right. If no idea. one else is gonna fucking take the initiative, yeah, I'll tell. I'll help you out with your stupid troll problem. Can I get that turkey leg? Excuse me. I expect this turkey leg to be entirely. You want the entire thing saved? You as don't... I left it, e- entirely as I left That's... it when I get back. That's fine. Yeah. You're discussing this turkey leg and the troll turns to you and sort of takes the uh, decision out of your hands. As four blood-sucking sturges rise off its body, it turns to you and 
Let's roll for initiative. Oh. When am I rolling? So, so you're going to roll your d20, and you're going to tell me what you boom. get. boom. Four. Seven. 18. I don't believe. I don't All right. Believe he so, I got a four. I got an 18 for Dave. I got, uh, what'd you get? Seven. Also seven. a seven for Snedric as well. Also a seven. Question, right. do I roll in character or out of character? Out of character. Okay, 18. Sorry. Yeah. Got it. Normal voice. All right, 18. that is. I can't actually uh, tell the difference between those. Yeah. First up is the troll, and it is holding a giant stalactite the size of you, Bridget. And it, it turns to you, and faster than you ever imagined, it brings its stalactite down to just crush you into paste. And luckily, just as it's about to hit you, you hear a clang and realize that faster than you could have imagined a man of his age and size moving, Blade has stepped in front and single-handedly stopped the troll's attack. And he turns to you and says, why don't the four of you handle the Sturges? I'll handle the big fella. Seems like you're kind of showing off, but fine. Well, fine. What's a Sturge? <laughs> yeah, what are Sturges? So Sturges are like um, blood-sucking bats um, that they hang around large creatures. Uh, and they're, they're sort of like bat birds. So first up is the Sturge. And it is going to attack you because you're Morgan. But claw. <laughs> claw. I'm going to come over and me. It's going to uh, it's going to attack you first because it is racist. A, it yeah. sees that you're a bird, and it's yeah, it's sort of like an anti-bird uh -huh. thing. Fifteen? Uh, that hit? I don't know. What am I looking for? Does yeah. it? <laughs> you're looking for your, your armor. armor you're going to look for your armor class. It's up at the top. It says in a little shield. <laughs> no, no, that's next your to, armor. Next to no. initiative. Yeah, top uh, 13, under walking 13. speed. 13. 13. So it does hit you. Okay. So you're telling me this bird has a higher going... armor class than me, a dragon? Yep. Yeah. He's, He's a, a dragon. monk. So Dragonborn. So he has I'm also a gladiator. Shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, so it does two damage and attaches itself to like your neck. It's like, and it grabs itself onto you and attaches itself to your neck. Uh, so that is surge number one. Next up is Dave. What up? <clears throat> what oh, do you do? I get to choose what I do here. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to move back as far as I can, first of all, and then attack with mm -hmm. my Eldritch Blast spell. Okay. Who are you attacking? The bat. Which one? The closest Careful. one to me. Sam, okay. I mean, look, you haven't named them. You can attack the one that's biting me. Is there one literally biting you right now? In the, in the neck. There's one literally. Where the hell you have you been? Did you fucking listen? I feel like you're going to, I feel like you're going to, you're going to be able to stab it in a second. I'm going to get one of the other ones. <laughs> okay. Whatever's closest to me okay. other than possibly the one that's attacking Claw. Okay. You're going to go out of your Got way it. to miss him? Well, I don't want to hit Claw with my Eldritch Blast. I, I I'll see. be right next All to him. All right. Yeah, that's a likely story. Well, that's not a, that's not a thing. You have a, what seems like a really intense argument as they fly <laughs> around an opinion of waiting. The <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dragon. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Noted. Identity crisis. Okay, Eldritch Blast. Roll for it. Uh, uh, 20? No, I mean, nope. roll, yeah, roll, I mean, roll a d20. Okay, I was, I was like, come no. on, Ian. cheat better. That's, that's as Roll. well as you could cheat. That's fine. <laughs> you can I, rolled make an 11. I rolled an 11. Uh, okay. Do you get anything? That's a spell, right? Yes. So there should be a little plus next to it in the spell. Plus what is that? Five. Plus, plus five. So that's 16. Correct. That'll Booyah. hit. Booyah. How much damage do you a do? A lot. <laughs> um, the the dice, the one D. It'll tell you. Pretty how sure like I killed that. Effect. Effect. It's under effect. <laughs> hey, We're gonna hey, find dude. out if you read me the thing. It's uh, as someone who's one played D10. Warlock before. It's a D10. Yes. Yeah, that yeah, that D10. thing's dead. I need you to roll, <laughs> you need to roll the, the dice. 
You don't know how many hit points in this it has. game of dungeons. <laughs> what do and I need dragons. to roll? A, ten, a d10. Oh, well, a, a one d10. A d10. A d10. I'll say it one more time. <laughs> oh, I rolled a zero. Is that a ten? That is a ten. That is oh, yeah. a ten. You blast this surge out of the fucking sky. It is so dead. To be fair, he already told it's you. Just that. It, he told you that. Yeah. It, it vaporizes. Sure Thank you. Yeah, you you killed the shit out of that sturge. <laughs> it is in every possible form dead. All right. Next up is another sturge. Um, and it just saw what Dave did and is like we had, he recognizes you as the biggest threat. So he's gonna come for you now, okay. Dave. Well, he's uh, blind, so it doesn't really matter. Nope, there's a different sturge. That sturge, the first no, sturge, these are all is blind. very dead. They're bats. They're bats. Okay, that's fine. He senses mm. your activity <laughs> and comes after you. And he rolls a critical miss. He flies past you and sort of slaps into a window pane and dies uh, instead. Yeah. <laughs> that Sturge just, just killed himself because there is literally no amount of consequences I could give him that would not kill him. <laughs> uh, so still two Sturges left. The one on claw and the one and then one flying in the air that feels much more nervous but now it is blade's turn and blade again very surprisingly sort of pushes back the troll and does a super badass slide with both of his daggers underneath its legs and slices both of its knees and then he pulls just this gnarly fucking scary bloody sword out and stabs the sword in the stomach while he's sliding. It looks really, he stabs really cool. Stabs the sword in the stomach. You're all... It better look fucking cool. Nice. Yeah, it looks really, really he needs cool. Needs to clean his blade. And the troll, the troll does not look amazing. Not taking care of that blade. Snedric, Snedric, you are up next. All right, so I'm rooting everybody on right now. Thank you. I have, uh, I have a, a thing called shocking grasp. That can I use that? Can I like reach out and touch the one that's um fucking with claw? Absolutely. Oh, you are fine. Right, yeah. Cool. So I roll a 20. I, I, I roll, you a, roll D20. a You roll a D20. That is correct. All right. I got a three. Yeah, that does not do it. All right. So you reach a lot and of then snogs, because, you know, this. yeah, because Claw is trying to like get it off at the time, you actually touch like a, a person at the bar and he just passes out like he's been tased. Y'all Instead. don't even worry about <laughs> why happens. I do that at bars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Bridget, you're up next. I, um, I'm going to uh, Sacred Flame uh, um, against the one that's, that's uh, hitting, that's, that's chomped on the neck. Okay. Uh, is Sacred Flame an area of effect? Uh, it's going to splash. Can I signal to Bridget that she should go after the other you one? You should signal to Bridget. Bridget! Uh, go after yeah. the other one. Sure thing. All right. I'm going to get the other one. All Where, right. Whichever one that is. How many were there? How many are down? Two, 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 down. Two, two, two are down. One is on claw. One is yeah, flying in the one. air. Right. Yeah. Uh, that is a... It's one. actually not an attack roll. It's a dexterity saving throw roll. For, All right. For then the, he needs to beat my dexterity. Then I don't even need to roll. Yeah. Okay, he just cool. needs to roll a 13 or higher. That's right. Bring up his dexterity. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Wait, wait, wait. Before I do it, I'm going to say to him, Suck on this, you little vampire bat. Nah, nice. Sweet. One line. We just met. And he rolled a two, so he definitely did not save. And you better not be eating my fucking turkey leg. I will probably that's, was that directed at me. <laughs> that was that's, directed at you, dragon boy. Or, uh, roll damage on that? That's a six. That's a six. Yep. Yeah, that kills him. He fries. He just sort of falls to the ground like a fried piece of chicken. Just entirely well done, Bridget. That's great that is entirely dead all right and claw Fucked. you are up next so i pull my quarter staff from my back and mm -hmm. i attempt to strangle it against my neck all right so i'll i'll just call this like an attack with the quarter staff same time 
No, because it's between <laughs> me and the. You're still pushing a thing on. Feels your, like, on. yeah, in order for you to cut off its windpipe, right? you're going to have to you. cut off no, your No, because own. it's just biting my neck, so yeah. I'm going to squish its neck between Excuse my neck me, and the Excuse me, are we not in yourself. a fantasy no, land? No, <laughs> fantasy physics, everybody. <laughs> fantasy physics. Feel like you're okay with that? Fantasy physics? Are we going to let him do the thing? Hey, I get it. He's Excuse trying to stick on the side can, of me, can, right? Y'all want to wanna borrow my dagger? Yes. I got a dagger. Can you just <laughs> grab it with your thing. hand like a fucking normal person? <laughs> no, because my staff is more powerful. <laughs> then you're... Okay. Uh, you're going to... No, go ahead. This is great. I want to see what happens now. <laughs> am I, am I rolling an eight or a six, Eli? You are rolling a d20. Oh, okay. oh I rolled two. Uh, 16. Plus five is 21. Yep, that hits. And so you're going to roll a... We're going to call this an unarmed attack just because you're not like hitting it with the staff. Yeah. You're just trying to squeeze it you with the staff. You also collapsed your esophagus. So, <laughs> it's on the roll side of me, not the front of me. <laughs> you're going to roll a 1d4 <laughs> um, and then you're going to add okay, 3. So it. I rolled a 3, so plus 3. Yeah, and despite everyone's naysaying, you choke the shit out of that sturge. It's like the end of Roadhouse. It's actually really like the, the and the bat makes... <laughs> Really hard eye contact with you <laughs> as it's happening, and then it just it gently whisper. You don't speak Sturge, but it gently whispers, "I'm a new father," and then it dies. All right, hold on a second, y'all. And this, <laughs> this this is the first time we fought, and everybody got to kill something but me. I even one of the bats committed suicide, and I didn't even get to kill nothing. That's I kind the of the dragon in the chest with my staff. I didn't know I was going to be the fucking Talking comic like relief over here. Damn. Don't poke me. All right. I breathe That'll fire at the over. fucker who just poked me with the stick. <laughs> hey, there's still a troll Jesus. in the room. I, yeah. uh, I believe your, your the guy with this diving <laughs> knives stab is focused on the troll. I <laughs> am breathing fire on the asshole who just poked me with a stick. I fly to the ceiling. He can't Shut catch up. me. You I also fly. fly. <laughs> you can't either. You can I, fly. Yes, I can fly. <laughs> You I roll for flying. Fly. I think you can I, fly. I, I Go can ahead. Fly too. Oh I have a jetpack. No more the jetpack. <laughs> I would like to roll. For, I would go, like everybody. to roll for a pug of peg of corn that would fly up and bite him for me. <laughs> roll it. I'm rolling for a pug of peg of corn right now, and I yep, go I got it. a 19. Suck it. <laughs> nope, not a peg of peg of corn. What are you out. talking about? All right. What would so I have needed to roll to get a pug of peg of corn? We uh, are in a 37 right because the pug of peg corn isn't in this space. <laughs> I, I was a spell. That's, that's not how that's you don't have that spell. I rolled to have that, that spell. You can't roll to have a spell you don't have. <laughs> We're learning things. This is nonsense. You're just making up rules so left the, and right. <laughs> Everyone. I laugh so at the dragon. I, let me set the scene. Let me let me paint a word <laughs> picture. Dave is currently standing. Snedrick is complaining about not killing something over the tased body of an innocent patron. Claw is laughing at Dave as he like mumbles and waves his clawed hands, being like "pug a peg a corn, pug a peg a corn, pug a peg a corn." <laughs> Bridget has already returned to her cherry leg. That's right. And Blade slices the head off the troll with his giant blade, uh, and then he comes over to the four of you and he says. That was great. Better than I expected. I'm not really gonna lie. That you was, guys you did, thought uh, we were gonna do worse than fucking that. One of I, them damn things had I to thought, kill itself in the middle of the damn fight for us to win. I, to be fair, I didn't. Everyone else ran away, and you all took up the challenge. So, with that said, I wonder: Would you be willing to do me a favor? There's some gold in it if you do. I bet we fuck the whole thing Holy up if we don't. How much sure. gold? Are, are you coming with us? Because it looks M like we Make him name a number this. of gold. He just said some gold. <laughs> if you can do this for me and keep it on the down low that uh, you were the ones that did it instead of me, I can see my way to giving each of you 50 gold pieces. I'll do it for um, do it for 100. Oh, you got roll persuasion. Oh, Brexit. I don't really know what that's going to be worth. What dice is that? I rolled an eight for persuasion. Gold. No, uh, no, I'm actually less <laughs> persuaded now than I was <laughs> earlier. Now I want to give, I, I tell you what, I will give everyone 50 gold. Dave, you get 49 gold for asking. That is my new proposition. You got, you guys willing to do this? Uh, I this throw a dagger at you. Great. I give Dave Amen. one of my gold. That's 
Jesus <laughs> motherfucking Christ. That's a, that's a poor choice. I'm pretending I didn't hear that. I got a big piece uh, of gold from the bird. <laughs> Noted. Yeah. You have you have a you have a piece of Thank gold you. from the bird. I'm not exactly alone in the city. I w- I was accompanying a young man as a uh, bodyguard of sorts, and last night he, uh, through no fault of my own, of course, got away from me. I, I confess. I- I may have wandered off because the establishment he chose wasn't to my taste. It's a small bar in the corner of town known as The Pit. Uh, I informed the young man that, all all right, well. As opposed to this high and mighty fancy pants. With a a pit inside of it. This one's got a pit. That seems like a stupid name for a different place. Everybody assumed that you was talking about this here place. What's this place called? That's a good point. This is the Green Dragon. That's a great point. What was the name of this man? Uh, uh, So his name... Is Floon Puff. What? Mm, feels like you just made that up. Floon? Nope. I was not. I was not. Uh, so this. this... What, what was his name again? I feel like you made it up. You lied. Uh, it's Floon Puff. Mm. Floon Puff. Wait. This Noises. place is called the Green Dragon and it's got a pit in it. We are called the, the Green Dragon. the other place. Yeah. Is called the pet. Yeah, I think it's meant to attract people who don't know the name of the green dragon, and so it's called the pit. It's kind of like you ever go near Disney World and there's lots of resorts, Fantasy Disney World, which exists, by the way, and there's lots of resorts that are named like <laughs> like Happy Land and stuff. No, sure, that's what it's like. That's what it. Well, that's true, and it's like that. Anyways, I I didn't like the vibe at the bar, so I I told him I was going to head back to the inn for the night. And when I woke up this morning, he hadn't joined me. I'm sure he's fine, but I'd be really grateful if the four of you would eh, ask around and find him. And why aren't you doing it since it seems to be your job? I, uh, there are complications to the situation that mm, I'd prefer this, not to go into. This feels like a prank, like we're going to walk around looking for floon pop. Wait, how, stupid. how much... Excuse me, how much were you being paid to watch this bastard? I was being paid 50 times 2, 4, 20 gold. I That's think this, what? In, I'm rolling inside. I'm rolling inside. Rolling inside? Yeah, I'm rolling inside. That is uh, a 14. Yeah, there's definitely something he's not telling you. Well, it's a good okay. thing you figured that one out for <laughs> right. You can tell... Based on, been on my fantastic about everything based on the <laughs> fact that he just said there were things he wasn't telling us. Are you sure his name wasn't Floor Ceiling Table? No, no, <laughs> his, his name is <laughs> Floon Puff. It's, uh, it's, it's actually, his name is Floon Puff. That is, uh, that's true. Yeah, you know what? Um, I tell you what, I'll, I'll meet you guys. Uh, no, 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 no. I, wa- I want to know because I am still very interested in your gold. I would like to know why you aren't going yourself. Seeing as you're so good at fucking up monsters. All right. Here's the truth. Mm. Um, If word gets around that the Great Blade Vigil lost someone on a 300, I mean, 200 gold uh, bodyguarding mission, my business is toast. And if I go to the pit and start asking questions, there's nobody who's not going to know who I am. So I would consider it a personal favor as well as a paid job if you would do the asking for me. Okay, and when did this happen? Last night. And you sent us uh, birds to meet you here a week ago. That's uh, about a different thing. To come. Oh, <laughs> all right. I see. It's really a million unraveling. different things. What's that about? I heard one time that you rescued the daughter of the alpaca god, and she f- and you fucked her and had alpaca babies. Is that that true? is that is a vicious rumor? That my, that young man has a disease. I'd, I I I hate seeing that in the puppet shows. It breaks my heart because he's such a such a good kid, and his mother's a lovely lovely lady. Anyways, the point is, <laughs> your grandparents. We did a favor for the Lord Regent of the city, um, and he, in return, he gave us a building. Yeah, you um, were now saying I have no need about that for the troll came through. Yes, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I have no need for it because uh, I've never felt like settling hey, I down. Just, I'm so- sorry to interrupt again, but like last time you was explaining this, a troll came and tried to eat us and shit. You sure this is a good place to talk about this building? 
I'm pretty sure I can say it now. Like, let's try it. If yeah. another animal appears, we'll understand that this is the cause. But I think it was just, I mean, if I were to guess, I would say someone was setting up dramatic tension with the interruption. All right. I, I never would have guessed that that was what it was. Okay, good. That All does right. make You sense. wouldn't think that? Okay. Well, <laughs> if I had set it up, I'd be hurt, but I'm just playing vigil, so I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to, I was thinking I could pass it along to the four of you. You could split this building and uh, maybe turn it into something here in this beautiful city. Anyways, what do you say? Locate this floon kid for me and do me a favor? I'll tell uh, you what, because you accidentally done said you was getting 300 for this. We'll do it for uh-huh. 75 gold pieces each. Uh, let's see, 75 times 4. Either that, That's or you come with he, us. He did the math 50. for you. It's not 200. 200. He, did. he did it. Is it 200? It's 300, it's, man. All it's right, 300. 75. You got yourself a deal. I think suckers. we can tell him later it was 100. He ain't very good at math. You guys though. hear him say suckers at the end of that? <laughs> got him. He said, <laughs> All right. he said, got him. Find the floon kid, <laughs> and remember... Watch your asses out there. Wait, and then wait, he stands up and he this, we're just walks out of the bar. Oh, okay. sure. He stands up and walks out of the bar. I feel like that could have been ha- handled a lot better if we had asked him more fucking questions we, before I would have liked yet. to. I have several questions still. Yes. Do we own this bar now? I think he's lying <laughs> about not fucking that alpaca, y'all. Me too. 100%. Yeah. Oh, uh, definitely. He's what got. He's gone. He's got like three little half alpaca children. They look weird. All right. See, I figured Dave got this shit right. We're gonna go out. This is a fucking snipe hunt. You know, floon paw is gonna be some fucking elvish word for suck me, suck my dick or something. And we're just gonna go in there in the pit, and it's gonna turn out it's a gay bar. And tee hee hee, let's make fun of homosexuality. I wish whatever. we had it's gonna literally be like that. any way of identifying him besides that stupid name. As uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Dave, roll a history check for me. Is that I D20. I should yeah. roll a history check. I have a better. Oh, yeah. You roll a history check. What's his name? Claw. David? Roll a history check. 11. 11? Yeah. So here's the thing. You recognize that the Poffs are, are like a very powerful royal family. And you don't know about a Floon Poff, but you do know that the Poff family are rich, rich nobles from the surrounding area. So there, I tell everyone that there is gold in it and that we can maybe make more than the 75. The Poof Poff family is something, and they're rich, and we may be able to get more gold from them than we will from, um, who was the first guy? Blade. Blade Blade Vigil. Vigil. That guy. That's a bullshit name. name Yeah, that's a bullshit kind of name. Do you want to go to the Poff family? We may be able to either double dip. Yeah, do you want to go to the Poff family and ask them to... Wait, but they're going to be like... Assuming that Blade hasn't told them what's going on, they're going to probably say he already has a bodyguard. But we could ask them what he looks like. Well, I don't know, though. So here's... Just imagine you're, you know, Mr. Poff or whatever, and we show up and we say... Hey, your son is missing, and we'll help find him for more than seventy-five gold. They're gonna think we're kidnapping him or whatever, you know. And you know, you're saying it now. I'm kind of hearing yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that would be a weird plan. I feel like one that- way or the other, we want to have the feller, and then maybe we could negotiate. You kind of fucked up that I'm- huge thing really easily, though. Yeah, I'm wondering why he why he wouldn't want to go there as such a badass motherfucker. Mm. I steal the rest of your turkey anyway. leg. Oh, no, you don't. Slide do a that. hand check. Excuse me. Fa- slide roll a hand check. Straight slide a hand check. Roll it. What do I roll? Um, you D20. roll a d20 and then add the your dexterity. How good is that? Nice. How okay. good is your dexterity? I got a 13 and I have zero dexterity plus. All right. Great. Anna, roll it. All right. This is slide a hand versus slide a hand. This is versus uh, insight. Well, I got, I awareness. jumped in early. My awareness, basically. Are you trying to snatch it away? I snatched oh, it. oh. Oh, he's trying to snatch it away from yeah, me? Yeah, so it's that, a sleight of hand be, versus that would be, sleight of hand. That's a 16? 16. She, she, you, claw, you reach out for it, Dave. You reach out for it. And I smack your hand so hard. But she hard smacks your hand away. Okay, I try you again. You can't have that turkey. Nope, you can't try things more than once. <laughs> Why would Otherwise, I, I try to, life to isn't, grab it differently? It's my fucking... Get yourself your own fucking turkey leg. <laughs> We're an, about to get... Be, what? 
75 gold richer. Um, I do my poison spray on the turkey leg so nobody can have it. <laughs> Excuse me. You, you cannot do your poison I, It's spray. a cantrip. I can absolutely do that as many times as I want. I can do that as many times as I want. We, All right, we I already am, have 50 gold. We can go to the other bar and just drink. Did well, he, he give us he any money yet? He hasn't paid us ahead of time. He gave us no, 50 he hasn't. I thought he gave us 50 gold pieces. No, he piece. hasn't. He you has get, not. you no, gave he me one you. gold piece earlier, but he didn't give us <laughs> I'm the only one with it's money. It's funny. We should have asked for half up front. Wait, he kind of wandered off real quick, yelling "suckers" under his breath and shit. So. Okay, and wait, I just wait. I just sprayed a bunch of poison. Gonna, we should all leave. I'm it's going gonna to be really bad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave the turkey leg now and run outside and try to find it. Out, out of character. Do we own this bar? No, no. Okay. this is not the bar you own. This is a green dragon. <laughs> we own the famous pit? bar. No, you don't own the pit. What do we own? Do we own, we own a building? Why does he think we possibly. own a bar? No, we own a you building. Own, don't we? You yeah. own a building. Yeah. So maybe. No. Blade Vigil promised you a building that your grandparents owned. Right. Right. He hasn't, he hasn't him. like followed through on it yet. Asked, yeah, asked you for a favor yeah, yeah, and then gotcha, left. Gotcha. All right. I'm gonna have one more drink before we go. I'm I'm gonna step outside and shout, Blade, get your butt back here. Well, I bring up to Dave that if he can cause a distraction, I may be able to steal some gold because I have high dexterity. Why oh, why would you point. like okay. and we can, can you just the talk directly to me like a normal person though? Dave, just to be clear. if you cause a distraction, I can maybe steal some gold and we can go to the other bar. Okay, I'm, I spray some more poison a bunch. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I okay. hate this so much. So you're going to spray so poison in the middle of the green dragon. <laughs> yeah. I want you to think It'll about just this. Go down the pit. Me... Good job, Dave. Great. No. Do me a favor. Hold on. Roll an intelligence check. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no, just I, was, I, I pump faked the poison spray thing and I instead choose a... Um, very small witch bolt just to like, you know, make everybody see a flash. Y'all, I can just whip out my gnome dick. We can do both. That would be better, guys. Oh, you know what? Let's can we just do his Are thing? Are you busting a spell slot? Okay, while the fools are staying back there, I'm going to, I've I've already, while this has been going on, in fact, before it's been going on, run outside and and try to find him. Is he, is, is, do I see anything? Blade is not outside. Uh, He's gone. If I shout Blade, will he come? Nothing happens. Mother fucker. But inside, Snedrick has his dick out. He's standing on the table. <laughs> Dave is debating whether or not if he witch bolted it, it would be sufficient misdirection for them to rob this very famous, <laughs> very public and association. I, and I roll to steal gold. Right. All right. All right. Excellent. I idea. would like. I would We're like to stop be that. Fucking I would like to catch before we get to kill any monsters. Can I? Can I roll to side tackle claw? Do it. Slide yes, a hand check. Absolutely. A... That's not good, guys. Would you roll? I rolled a four. So okay. So here's what happens. <laughs> let me let me paint you a word picture. <laughs> So dicks uh, out, guys. Wait, dicks. wait, 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 wait. But I need to roll to see if I, because I have high dexterity, I will probably yeah. steal something. Roll, roll a sleight of hand check uh, which, against the bartender, uh, Trim. Which dice is that? That's a d20. Okay. <laughs> and then you add your dexterity modifier. Okay, 14 and then plus three. Okay, great. So here's what happens. Drem is a bartender at a famous bar in one of the busiest things. So you, you're pretty fast, but he's faster and he grabs your bird wrist and he says, you're not the first to try to steal from me, boy. If you go now, I'll let you leave with your lives. And then he gently lets you go. You know mm. what, fellas? I think we deserve to be drinking at the pit. I feel Get like I took my dick out for nothing. <laughs> I, you can yeah, put you it back well if you want. Back. I guess it didn't really accomplish anything. Yeah, A gnome so. lady in the corner just goes, don't do it. <laughs> 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 leave it out. All right. I, I, I nod and start to leave, hoping that the others will follow me. Oh, yeah, I'm following you. I'm, right. In fact, um, I'm going to make sure that everybody else You're outside. Them. You're outside the green right. I <laughs> eat the poison turkey leg because I still wanted something. It's gone. The poison turkey leg has been cleared by a busboy who was quicker than you. Mm. Just because it will move you outside and we'll stop talking about this turkey leg, it evaporates from the universe. <laughs> I, I knock over his roll-ups as I leave. <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, yeah. You know what, oh. Keith? For knocking up roll-ups, take a, take a point of insight. Thank take you. Take an inspiration. I get an inspiration so, point that I can later use you can, to do inspiration. something. Inspiration. Right? Yep, you can roll advantage on any future roll. Wow, Yahtzee. Fucking encouraging that shit. I my hatred for roll-ups goes across all platforms. 
Well, fuck it. I'm going to go back in and knock over some roll-ups, too, then. Shit, I want some inside. They're already, they're already knocked over. I'm going to put them right, back so up and knock them over Excuse again. me, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, we are not allowed back in that place. You're Ever already again. outside. I know. There's a lot of poison in, in there. In I, I, asked, I said I put fakes, again. but I, do, I put a lot of poison into that room. Not helping. So... Let's go for try to find a decent pint at the worst fucking bar in town. All right? And we're going to try to find Flume Plums. Flume Puff. Okay. Excuse me. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to the very first episode of D and D Minus. The episode you're hearing is back when we didn't even know what the show was going to be called yet. So I'm so, so grateful for those of you who have tuned in. Forgive the slightly long commercial break here, but it is our first episode. I know this is where a lot of people are going to start. So first off, I want to thank our performers. That's No Illusions, Keith Enright, Anna Bosnick, and Morgan Clark. I'm Eli Bosnick, your Dungeon Master. We are so, so grateful that you're listening to this little show we've put together. If you enjoy it and you want to hear more of us, you can check out the other podcasts on Puzzle and a Thunderstorm LLC. We've got God Awful Movies, The Scathing Atheist, The Skeptocrat, and the show we do with our friends Tom and Cecil, Citation Needed. And if you're enjoying this, you might love those shows as well. So check them out on iTunes, Stitcher, and wherever else podcasts live. I also want to take a moment to thank our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash DND minus, all spilled out. That's patreon.com forward slash DND minus. Like I said, all spelled out. They get an ad-free version of the show. In fact, for these five first episodes, they're going to get the old versions that we posted for our patrons over on The Scathing Atheist, which has a much shorter commercial break. So there's an advantage already. You also get access to live streams when we start doing live streams, special bonus content. We're going to play some small games and some wacky games because there's some really, really cool tabletop RPGs out there that we want to get our hands on. And we're going to bring on special guests and friends of the show, all that cool stuff. And you can check out all of that again at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus. All right, let's get back to the show. All right, so as you head towards the pit, you notice that you're definitely heading towards the shadier part of town. Like, there are thugs hanging around street corners, staring menacingly. There's carts of partially or totally rotten fruit being pushed through the streets by half-orcs and goblins. And when you arrive at the pit, it matches its namesake. I mean, the, the owner clearly meant to build the place to imitate the famous green dragon, but it pales in comparison. In fact... Instead of the famous bottomless pit at the center of the green dragon, the, the pit has a three foot deep mud and shit filled fighting pit uh, that you can see as you enter. And two dwarves are inside just like fighting bare fist boxing as you walk in. What do you do? Put my dick away. <laughs> can you so just keep it away as a default? <laughs> Yeah, unless otherwise stated, we'll just. I'm not saying I don't like it. I just mean like strategically (laughs) for like our quest. I will assume all of your dicks. We would all agree that you take it out. Otherwise, I would say default in. Cool. Oh boy! Dicks are in. You're in the pit. What do you do? (laughs) Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna go up to the bar. All right. And try to talk to the bartender. Are you gonna split up or are you gonna do these one at a time? Uh, Oh, was it a larger area where we wouldn't? It's a bar, so there's multiple. I go up to the bar with you. Okay. All right. Uh, I excuse- am going to smoke oh. some snogs, man. Yeah. So there's a there's a human bartender, um, and and what's weird is he's obviously been cursed in a really peculiar way. He seems like half of him is a werewolf, but it's exactly straight down the center. Like on the left side of his body, he's just a normal guy, and on the right, he's a werewolf. <laughs> um. And and as you come up, he says, uh, "Welcome to the the pit." Yep. Uh, how can I help help you yep. today? Perception check. Perception check. Excellent choice. Jesus fucking Christ! I'm not rolling well right. What'd now. you roll? I rolled. Excuse me. I'm going to tell you in a second when I look at my perception va- advantage. Which okay, wait. My passive perception is much higher than this. Great. So let's go with my passive perception, which is 15. Great. Yeah, yeah. he just looks like a nice, friendly bartender. All right. Who is half werewolf. Exactly. 
I explained that it's my birthday and I'd like a free drink. <laughs> you got if, if you want to do that, you got to do it in character voice. Don't that was character you, voice. <laughs> no, nope, that's that's you him. saying. I explain it's my birth. You say out loud. I, I, I say the words. I explain to you that it's my birthday and I would like a free drink. Don't well, listen I, to that fucker. Anyway, I have some questions for you. Okay, if you don't mind. Sure. Welcome to the pit. Thank you so my much. My name is Alan. Thank you for asking. Hi, Alan. Hi. Uh, how's your night been? Not great. Oh. Though there, uh, this dragonborn came over and in the third person mm. said it was his birthday. I'm right but here. I don't believe oh, him. I, I don't know who you're talking. Oh, he Jesus. ain't even knocked All over right. your fucking roll ups yet, man. You wait till he gets <laughs> going. Oh my god! This is the pit. We don't have roll ups here. <laughs> I do have a question for you. Go ahead. Do you have alcohol at this establishment? We do. We do. Uh, and can I buy? Uh, can I get a pint for me and my friend here? Thank you. Absolutely. It's on me. Don't worry about it. It's his birthday. Two Appreciate pints it. coming coming right up. Just take a seat and I'll bring them to you. All right. Well, me and the bird will be over here fucking ourselves. Thank you. Well, you can. Thank you. Uh, are you guys are you guys with us at the bar? No, we're over here, but I figured you was going to bring them. You know, we. I can bring them. We're em. watching the dwarves fight. All right. I'm going to I'm going to turn around and say, do you two want some as well? Pretty please. Thank you. All right. Hey um, Cedric, if you are sh as you're a gnome, yes. Okay, sorry, I remember everything. If you, if I do some acrobatics in the pit, could you steal us two beers? Oh dear God! You just got us kicked out of one fucking place, and now you're trying to get us kicked out of another. No, man, we got to find Floon Paw or whatever. <laughs> I don't mean this to be like a racial thing, but you suggest <laughs> stealing all the time. <laughs> Um, I'm going to wave at the bartender and say, can you make it two more? So, oh, absolutely. Four beers coming up. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to the pit <laughs> today. Do we tip him or like, how does it work? Uh, no, I'm going to wait until he brings them back and then I'm going to ask him more stuff. Has, he, right. has he brought them back yet? Ask him so if he's, he's seen faux Paul. Oh, you, I'm, I'm going to ask it. take a seat, I assume. Yeah. Is yep. there, are there all right seats? There is an empty table. You take a seat and he brings you four tankards of ale now might i ask you a question sure how can i help i had a f a friend i was gonna see while i was in town um uh poff floon yeah floon 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 poff and last i heard he was here a few a few weeks ago or something like that but nobody's seen him since actually last Wait a night second. was the time frame oh last night you know what that's right it was last night did you say someone named floon yeah yeah, he he was here last night. The the blonde guy, right? The yeah. the one dressed all fancy. That's the one. Yeah. I don't know why he dresses like that. I remember him. He was drinking with Detective Marglarg Maxon. Hmm. Mm. Marglarg Maxon. Yeah, uh, he's here. Um, he uh, sort of Flunis. works out of the no Marglarg is he sort of works out of the corner of the bar. If if you guys want to talk to him, just uh, be careful. He can be a little cranky. He's, he's a, and then he wanders he's away. He's a detective who, who works out of a bar. Yeah, and as you say that, you turn and you realize that in the corner, there is a dwarf that has stitched together like what, what you uh, in the outside of this game would recognize as like a dwarven attempt at a trench coat and a fedora. <laughs> but, but he lives in a fantasy world where those clothes don't exist. So it's just like chain mail that's sort of been patched and is too long, and he's taken a metal helmet, and he's just put a big ding in the top of it, and he obviously overheard the werewolf guy talking about him, and so now he's he's very, very, you can tell from your passive perception, he's very passively, like, trying to be cool, but, um, but like, he's, he's very much looking at you, and, like, posing as coolly as he can, hoping that you'll come over. Shall we move to that table, gentlemen? I feel like that's kind of what Eli wants us to do. So I think I think that's that's where this this night is going. All right. Um, can I'm I roll gonna... for perception on him? Yeah, you can roll for Go perception ahead. on him. All right. Six. He's well. You know, hung. All, you know less things than I just told you <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> can I roll an investigation? Sure. What do you want to investigate? He just wants 
he just wants this guy to see him investigating. So he'll be like, oh, no, I'm a brother Seamus. And then he'll be like more like loosened up to us. No, it says, yeah. no, it just says when you look around for clues. Sure. So we're just looking for clues, right? We're looking for more yeah, clues. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, right. you well, wanna... well, there's... Is that a 20? Yeah, it's a roll 20. Oh, two plus one. <laughs> yeah, you're in a bar. You're in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Marglarg Maxon? Yeah, that's me, see? Marglarg Maxon. Detective Marglarg. <coughs> see, that's what you get for giving too much introduction, man. <laughs> Sorry, let me try that again. That, yeah, that's me, see? De- Detective Marglarg Max. Ah, oh, I feel like I blew it well, with the coughing I, fit. Uh, I'm Marglarg. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I see what you were going for. Thank and you. I and I liked it. Yeah, that, that's you've been working on that for a while, haven't you? I, I I've been working on it. You yeah, I, I'm, I'm Detective Maxon. How, how can I help? Uh, I was looking for a friend actually, uh, and it uh, the bartender said you might have seen him last night. Uh, Floon Puff. Oh, Floon fella. Yeah, kind of fancy. Yeah, see, Floon. I I remember him. He was here last night. Uh, good kid. Paid for drinks all night long. Yeah. As a detective, uh, what you what you have him in for? Um, you know, I don't think I'm quite at liberty to say. Mm, inside check. Go ahead. That is uh, an eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. He he knows something, but he's holding back. All right, all right. Um, well, uh. Hey, do you mind if I step in there, uh, Bridge? Sure, Bridge, go for it. A- absolutely. Whatever your name is, Bridget something. Yeah, um, Bridget, Bridget Bulgerstash. Hey, man, I got this power where I can grab people and they get electrocuted. Why don't you just come clean about what you fucking know about Floon Poff? Ooh, oh, hey, that's, um, uh, that's very violent. Hey, no, no, no need to, you know, uh, uh, threaten people here. Uh, running it, uh, uh Roll an intimidation check. I'm a fucking that. gnome. I, I feel like yeah. that's not gonna. Okay, wait. you get a minus one. What, what am I? What am I rolling here? A twenty. A roll a d twenty. Yeah, eleven. Uh, yeah. No, he seems he seems un un persuaded. I'm he's gonna right. roll he's a persuasion Why don't you tell check. about some of your superpowers? I stuff? I'm going to roll a persuasion I, check. All right, real fast to see if I can uh, fix this all up. That's a thirteen. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm I'm very sorry about my friend there. I don't know why he's getting all aggro all of a sudden. You all seem like your sporting sorts. Uh, would you be up for a little wager, each of you, in exchange for, I don't know, a bit of information? Depends on what's on the table. Well, I'll tell you. Detective Maxon, and he whips out, his hand goes into his thing, and he whips out like a very nice glossy brochure. And he slaps it down on the table in front of you. And you can see that it's, it's he very clearly made it with like word art. It's not, <laughs> it's not well done. Fantasy and, word art. <laughs> and on it, it says fighting, chess, and drinking. Detective Matthew Maxon, he says, there's three things I that no drinking. one beats de- <laughs> Detective Maxon Maxon at. Fighting, chess, and drinking. Nay, I, I call drinking. Beat me in all three, and I'll tell you what you need to know. I'll call chess. Y'all think I'm stupid because of the accent, but that's not fair. A lot of people are born down here and they're real smart. It's just about how all your right. parents are. I call battle. Chess. I call I battle don't... drinking chess. We do all three at the same time. Oh fuck yeah, man! That'd be awesome. All right, so I'm I'm drinking with the dwarf. I'm chessing with the uh, with the with the. Uh, I'm the, a fucking gnome, gnome guy. man. I'm a fucking. Sorry, gnome. go ahead and say just, it. It's not that ain't even to... a slur. Everybody always thinks it's a slur. No, I'm a gnome. Uh, Proud I'll chess with the gnome and uh, I'll fight you. my dragon. My up, oh, uh, that's exactly what I wanted to hear because I want to fight that bird in the pit. Wow, that is not your word to use. <laughs> He's a bird. <laughs> that's right. kind of dumb. He's going to have an advantage in the pit because he's a bird. All right, so here are the three challenges. Who wants to go first? I'll I'll drink them first. You're gonna drink first. Oh, yeah, we, right. That's gonna be a first. good idea before the chess and the fighting. Yeah, before the chess and the fighting. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So this All is right. a this is um a constitution contest in a yes, drinking it contest. Is. 
You're going to roll three constitution rolls. All right. And so is he. I will tell you. Uh, that's 18 plus two is 20. 18 plus two is 20. Ooh. And a six plus two is eight. So we got a 48. Uh, <laughs> You've got this, Bridget. I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. That was not good. <laughs> What you got? I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't make any of those. So, Bridget, you are surprised how much Matthew drinks. And you get about six tankards of ale in and everything just sort of blurs and you just flump down I, on I just, the table. I just want y'all to know that I have been poisoned. Yeah, I just want to point out, yeah, she has not been poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe that means that the gnome is next. Is that correct? All right, gnome, set up the board. All right, so for chess, wizard's chess, this is an intelligence plus charisma plus wisdom. Um, so he roll. He Why only does gets charisma plus two. Factor into chess because it's about um like how much someone likes you when you play chess to them. What? I didn't make up wizard's chess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, right, y'all. So I didn't you, think my charismaticness was going to factor into this, but all right. 16. I go pawn to king four very gregariously. <laughs> Sixteen plus seven, twenty three. Plus wisdom is twenty. That is a forty three. All right, I have no total. I have no idea what you, you did or what. So I'm you roll, roll your intelligence. So. You're going to roll a d20. A d20 and then add three to it. All right, that'd be, I rolled a seven, so 10. 10. Now you roll your wisdom. So yeah, roll a 20 and then add one to it. Uh, that's not good either. That's five, 15. All right, si 16, because you get, or no, yeah. 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 Uh, you get one more because your wisdom's a plus one. So no, 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 that was with the plus one. Oh, okay. And then one. your charisma, which is a minus. minus one. And that was a five as well. So yeah, 19. All right. So it is, again, you're amazed that he puts you into like a Russian move set that you were had only read about in Gnome Chess magazine, but he he checkmates you. Um all right. Claw he takes off his trench coat. And uh, unlike what you're expecting, he's like really really ripped underneath. Uh, and he takes a sword from his belt and he puts it on the table and he says, uh, you're up next, birdie bird. No weapons, just bare hands. Or I guess in your case, wings. And he goes and stands in the pit waiting for you to fight. Do I not have hands? You have hands. You just yeah. don't okay. have like human got it, got it, got it, got it. He's just being a dick. All right. And so you and him are now going to have an unarmed battle. So roll for initiative. Uh, 15. And then plus 15. Yep. You get to go first. Uh, so go for it. Um, so this is unarmed strikes. Because you are a monk, you get to do a bonus unarmed strike mm -hmm. whenever you make an unarmed strike. So you get two attacks for each of his one. Right. So roll it. Is it a D4 or a D20? It's a D20. Six, 16. I rolled a 16. Plus five. 21. Yep. That hits. Roll a, uh, a D4 plus three for me. One. Plus three, that's four damage. Um, great. Uh, he's going to attack you now. That is a 14, which does hit you. And he hits you for... He hits you for three damage. Okay. So far, it's just a slap fight, I see. Yeah. No, I'm I'm, uh, pretty, I'm halfway down on hit points with the other. Also, your too. talons don't count. Also, as you get a weapons. bonus attack, which you didn't take, so take your bonus attack. Can I use the talons. Yep. Okay. So I need to roll a twenty for armor class first. Yep. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. That. Yes. Hey. Uh, thank God. Uh, and then another D four plus three, right? Mm -hmm. But it's slashing damage. Does that change anything on the? Does not change anything. I didn't know. If it Another one. All right. So another four. And then you get a bonus attack because you're a monk. So roll again. Another D4 or D20? D20. Okay. 19. 
19, that'll hit. Nice. Roll that D4. Is that a critical or no? No. Nah. 20 is critical. Only 20? That sucks. Only 20. Three. Three plus three, that's six damage. All right. He is not looking great at this point. Uh, but he's he's still up, so he takes a swing at you. And misses. A bio. He's like, he just right, you do like a cool backwards bird bend thing, or you like rise up in the air. You get to choose, but you he misses you. Uh, and it is your attack again. <laughs> okay. Do that Ten. thing where you choke yourself with your staff again, though. <laughs> <laughs> Any bird bend will do. You roll again? Ten. Ten. That hits. He's way better at chess, yo. Hey, another four. <laughs> All right. Good. And attack again because it's a martial arts fight. Ugh, two. Two. So you miss two. And and he sort of like does the exact same bend back at you. And then when he comes up, he like winks at you like, oh, I wasn't even trying this whole time. So now it's his attack. Uh, and that misses again. Uh, he, he like he hits you, but it just it doesn't do any damage. Uh, and it's your attack again. Seems like he's still not trying. If you ask me, 19, 19, that'll hit. And then four. Four plus three is seven, and he he goes flying. You uppercut him, and he goes flying backwards into the mud, and just bam falls there on his back, just very clearly defeated. And he stands up and he looks at you and he says, "All right, bird, that's good, real good. See, but I've beaten two of you, and I've been beaten by one of you, which means it's all down to the dragon on whether or not I help Wait, you out. So if we tie two two, we actually win. Is that what you're saying?" Yeah. That's a weird system. So I mean, well, nice otherwise... You. You're making up Thank all this you. stuff. I'm not. There's a hole written. Okay, so I what 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 are we doing? Drinking? We get well, drinking, I'm, right? I'm going to let you choose, Dragon. What do you want to do? Chess? Drink? Or fight? I'm going to go with drinking. All right. Three constitution rolls in a roll. That's me? So, yep. So he has a 14... 11, 25, and an 18 is... Weird how this guy never rolls anything that's He rolls lower really than high, 10. like, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's all 100% like, over 10. That's such a, I can't see it's behind your computer, Eli, so I It's a 43 total. Go for it. Shenanigans. So my constitution is 14 plus 2. Is that related to what's about to happen? You, yeah, means you so you get plus, plus two, 2 on each of your rolls. your rolls. And I'm rolling a d20 three times in a row. You're rolling a d23 mm -hmm. times in a row. Okay. I got a 12 plus 2. That's 14. All right. I got a 5 plus 2. Mm. That's 7. That's not good. You, you got to hit, hit 20. Up now. And I hit a 20. 22. They tie. 22. You tie. So you know what? You're both wavering, but he passes out a fraction of a second before you do. And so you drag him out to the, the water hutch. I thought the I was passed out, though. The water. No, the rest of them. Drag ah. him out to the water hutch, and he, he wakes up. And he says, all right, all right, all right. I'll tell you what you want to know. Your boy Floon got flipped, duped, taken. We were sitting here having drinks, and then who should enter the bar and take him away herself but the black dragon, Sarah Flair. All right, so Sarah Flair, you said, was the chick. Is, is that like a magician? Is she a magician? She sounds like ah, a magician. Ah, she's the... She's the head of the black dragons, and and you you might as well draw your weapons and slit your throats than walk into her hideout. Who are the black dragons, though? Oh, only the most dangerous gang in this side of the pit. I wouldn't go in there is for the a city. The pit million gold. This nope, city this is called the pit. Are they related to the like the green dragon? So you mean they're next? I mean, we're dragon. at the pit, so like everything you, is this side of the pit. Are you saying that they're next door? I'm saying they're they're. I mean, okay, technically yes, they are next door. Point, and point, point to the building. They literally right there. Right there. And right. you look and you turn and there's a giant warehouse, um, on your left, and it across it is like a very crudely drawn banner. That says, Home of the Black Dragons, keep out. 
You know, in hindsight, I feel like I should have been able to spot that. I think I found their secret hideout. Do I need to roll for initiative or something? Investigation? <laughs> Good work. I'm, I'm a dragon, so maybe I can, like, charm them. Are you black? I <laughs> sort of. Part of... Part of, I have some dark colored scales. Is that what did you, did you mean that? I just, you know. Oh, no. In the middle of nowhere, there is a black desert no plants no trees no life just howling winds we watch the winds coast across the sand for hours and hours until finally a portal opens in the middle of the desert and out flies the limp and buffeted form of a young girl it skates across the sand, pushed by the impossibly strong winds over and over, tumbling, till at long last, her hand reaches out and grasps the ground, holds her steady to it for just a moment. She opens her pupilless black eyes, looks upward and says, It's a start. You guys ready to start weaving this tapestry? Uh, really quickly, am I All softer right. than everybody else or no? You son of a bitch. I will kill you <laughs> with my Relax parents. over there, Wonka. <laughs> Morgan, cut this part. <laughs> Morgan, Eli, Morgan, Eli, Morgan, cut this. Oh my God. Wait, Eli, you're going to edit this? I can just shout shit into the middle of your stuff as much as I want and you have to edit it out? <laughs> oh. Yeah, the, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> there we go. Oh I've got god. it. I've got it for a future episode. That's the theme song. I'm gonna auto tune let, that. Oh Noah, don't let Eli. Eli, he's gonna keep that and he's gonna use it's it gonna as like a yeah, goddamn no, cell phone. We promised <laughs> ringtones to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Two birds, one stone. All right. <clears throat> uh, can I change my name as we start? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have to roll for that? Nope, you can just change your name if you want. Cool. You don't like caca! I'm gonna need you to My say name something is character David. voice that explains it. No. Nope, we got a Dave. No. <laughs> We're not doing that. Actually, you got a Dave already. You don't have a David. Absolutely not doing Dave and David. I will kill myself right now on the fucking podcast. Davey. <laughs> no. <Nope>. Davey Crockett! <laughs> The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2019. All rights reserved.